Hello, Stella. How are you? What's up, Hedda? <laughs> <laughs> so you're in Oslo, Norway? Yes, in the ice cold Oslo right now. <laughs> I want to revisit the past for just a minute before I ask you about what's happening in your life right now. Because in 2011, you made history with your song and your music video and your performance, Haba Haba. So let's take a look at that for a few minutes. We'll come back and I want to ask you how, how that has changed your life. When I was a little girl, my grandma told me that I could be just anything that I wanted to. She said that everything I work for, everything I wish for, everything I look for, song still it's so precious to me you know because those are wisdom words from my grandparents yes. from the elders in my family because I've always been someone who always rush things you know <laughs> and they've always been like just take step by step by step mm -hmm. and before you know it you know your glass is already full you know uh, well you made history with Eurovision um, song contest and you were the first black woman as an African woman, as a Kenyan woman to uh, be singing in the contest in an East African language, right? And you were the, it was the first time that Norway had, had um, an African woman representing Norway. You know, I came here with my family in 92 as a political refugee, but they hadn't seen so many, you know, foreigners at all so I was going through the hardest time of my life but the most beautiful thing is that this contest they're actually you know it's people voting and in my year it was like a record of how many people were voting because you know uh, Norway really proved the rest the rest of the world that you know music it's not about color it's not about any of that it's about the feeling that you're giving to and the honesty that you're giving to and that was just history so let's come to today now get to today <laughs> So I have the anthem song for Just Dance 2020. And, you know, Africa is really being put into light right now in terms of the music and the culture, fashion, everything. So I wrote Maito. Maito means our truth. And Maito also, also means our mother. It's actually praising the truth. So people are dancing to a very spiritual song. I love the Afro-futuristic craziness of this. Can you give us a little hint or a flavor of one of the songs that you are going to quickly reveal in 2021? One song that I'm coming out with is called Long Way Coming. It's produced by a Finland producer. He's very young. He's called Aaron Salvatore. Uh, and that song I'm speaking out on where I have been, you know, the storms that I've been through. And if we want to follow you, how can everybody, you know, keep track yes. of what Stella's up to? Yes, it's Stella Mwangi everywhere. Stella Mwangi on Instagram, on Twitter, Stella Mwangi official on Facebook. Stella, and Stella, Stella, Stella. Stella, 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 Stella everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Stella Mwangi. It has been a real pleasure. Thank you so much, Heather. It's been my pleasure too. You have a nice time and we'll talk. Hey,